What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nuggles YouTube channel. Today is Saturday Tournament round number one, and we're playing the Trevnet deck. If you missed the introduction, links are down below to everything. The introduction, round one, round two, and round three, if we make it that far. And uh, today we are well, we're playing the Trevnet deck. Sorry, I kind of kind of lost track of thought there. Uh, but today in this tournament, it's actually tokens that tickets. And we're playing against Jesta's, playing a Grass Psychic and a Lightning deck. And I was just talking about how if it's a ticket or token tournament, and uh, more people can enter token tournaments because they're easy to get to tickets, and maybe not play against something competitive, but maybe we are. Uh, Grass Lightning and Psychic could be an indication of uh, Vest Queen Night March, but no colors, so no Shamans, maybe. I don't know. I'm interested to see what we're playing against. We are going second, and we start Absol and Shaman. All right, so we're going to press done. So two cards, we two Pokemon we don't want to see, and we start with them. All right, so Hona has three Pokemon down. Alright, let's see, what are we playing against? There's a, oh, yep, it's a Night March deck. Alright, so, uh, Joltik, Joltik, and Pumpkoo come down. Now, remember, they're not playing, I don't think they're playing, um, Shaman, but maybe they're not needed. So, Battlecrest, they're going to discard their cards out of their deck. Hopefully, they don't get too many Night Marches in the discard pile. So, discard three Lampets, okay? Uh, Fighting for the active gives Joltik 70 HP. Dimension Valley coming down as well, and a pass onto our turn, okay? So, we get a Trainer's Mobile, we'll play that, and with this, we will grab... Oh, baby. Uh, probably nothing. We'll press done. We'll put down a Psychic Energy, and we'll shame and set up for two cards. All right, so let's see what do we get off the Shade Bay for two. Hopefully, we find an Ultra Ball. That would be perfect. And double Trevenant. Okay, so pass Ultra Opponent's turn. That's not a good hand. All right, so my opponent's going to draw a card. Oh, man. This is not a good hand. Oh, man. We missed a Sycamore. We missed an Ultra Ball. Uh, we played one Trainer's Mount. I did want to play the red card get my opponent... Uh, 40 cards in the hand. Fighting for Bell to pass on to our turn. We get a Trainer's Mill. Let's see, can we get anything or not? And no, no, nothing. We'll grab Crushing Hammer. Okay. We'll pass on to our opponent's turn. All right, so both kind of dead drawing. Once again, we don't want to play the red card. Give up on a new hand of seven. We'll put a draw for their turn. And will they find a supporter card? Uh, there's an unknown coming down. We'll see if Feral Letter to draw an extra card with the unknown. Okay. And let's see, what do they get with the unknown? A combi coming down, and probably just pass on to our turn, alright? And we get an AZ. Which is pretty much useless, because we can't really do anything with the AZ. Like, with AZ becomes Shebe, uh, but we have too many cards in hand already. Uh, so that's not good. We'll AZ pick up the Shaman regardless. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll have to put the Shaman back down, and we'll end our turn. If we don't put the Shaman back down, our opponent can just hit a DC and knock out our Absol, maybe. My opponent will draw a card. We're both kind of just dead drawing here, just kind of sitting here, doing nothing. On our turn, we get a Wally. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can be a secret for AZ, pick up the Shaman, put it back down, and we still have too many cards. So, we'll end our turn. On to our opponent's turn. Once again, they'll draw a card. Okay. Alright, so things are going great for both of us right now. We're both kind of just sitting here, just, just seeing what's happening. Um, they drew a card. And let's see what happens. It looks like I put a hit. Nope, uh, Colby coming down. Okay. Alright, so in our turn, what do we get? There's an N. Alright, so I'm going to play the N. We have to play We have to play the N. Right now, my opponent's only Night Marching for 60, which is not to, that so much. That's not that much. So we'll end. Both players shuffle the hand of the deck and draw six new cards. And we don't hit anything. Perfect. That's what I like to see. All right. So a shaman set up for one. Please let me find an ultra ball or a phantom. Hey, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So in our turn. Oh my goodness. All right. So in our turn. Ultra opponent's turn. <clears throat> this is not going great. This is not what I want to see. We just gave my opponent a new hand of seven, and we don't have anything. Where's our ultra balls at? We see battle press there. They're gonna discard three cards from their deck. Some more Night Marchers, and this is bad. 24 to 60, 80, 100, 120. Now our opponent can just constantly knock. Okay, 100, which is, oh, with Fighting Fury Mode, that's a knockout. All right, and uh, let's see what our opponent decides to do. Oh, man, things are going downhill quick for us. All right, so now after Bite, my opponent's going to look at top two cards of their deck. Looks like they are going to discard an Ultra Ball. Can we please have the Ultra Ball? That'd be very great. Uh, puzzle Time, probably, maybe rearrange top three cards of their deck. I, yep, rearrange top three cards of their deck, okay. And, let's see, what will my opponent do? So, it's like you're going to Kobe, okay. And a pass onto our turn, alright? So, we get an Ultra Ball, which is what we need. So, we're going to Ultra Ball, discard Trevenant? No. Yeah, we'll discard, uh, da -da 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 -da. we'll discard Dimension Valley, and... 
Wally. Okay, so we discard these two. With this, we'll grab a Phantom. Okay. We'll put down the Phantom. We'll retreat into the Tremnit. Alright, so we'll retreat to this guy. We will crush him and try and discard the Psych Energy. Uh, Tails, alright, we'll be a secret for AZ. Uh, we'll pick up a Shaman, put it back down, and hopefully draw some more cards. Uh, hope oh man. Actually, I'm gonna hold on to this. I don't, oh, do I want to play it or not? The thing I'm scared about is we AZ pick up a Shaman and hit all of our Trevenants. We can Ascension. So I'm just gonna Ascension right now, uh, gonna get Trevenant out. I know that's, like, pretty unlikely if we, that happens, but we need to be cautious. So Trevenant coming down. Almost our opponent's turn. Hopefully they don't hit a DCE this turn. That'd be really bad. Uh, oh my goodness, they have a DCE. Looks like they top decked it. All right, Nightwatch will knock us out. It does 100 exactly. Uh, 3, 6, 9. Uh, no, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 110 exactly. Oh my goodness. All right, so my opponent going out of five price cards. We'll set up Absol. Oh man. All right, so on our turn, we get a Phantom. So we'll put that down. We'll AZ pick up the Shaman. Put it back down. Shame is set up for five or four new cards. And let's see what do we get off the Shay Bay. Don't let me down. All right, some of the Phantom hit the field. Well, Trainers Mel, look at top four cards of our deck. Uh, guess we're grabbing Dimension Valley. And we will pass on to our opponent's turn. Okay. All right, so my own opponent's turn. They get to play any item cards they want. Uh, but next turn we can, um, we can Ascension and Trevenant. So there's a Night March for the Knockout. It does 110. Okay. In my turn, I'm going to send the Phantom. Go, go, Phantom. Get him, buddy. All right, so let's see what happens. On to our turn, we get a BS Seeker. All right, so I'm going to Trevenant this guy. I'm going to train his mouth for an N. And, yeah, we're going to go for an N, I think. I'm uh, going to put my opponent down to four cards. And that seems great. If they have a DC in their hand, maybe we can get rid of it. Uh, so we're in. And let's see what happens. Well, there's a weakness policy, a red card, some other stuff. Uh, so we will Ascension. Into the Tremnant, okay. Uh, they will knock us out this turn. That's for sure. That's what's going to happen. But next turn, we have a Psychic Energy. We have a Tremnant Break. If they take a knockout this turn, we can end them down to even... Or we can end them down to three, uh, which will probably take a knockout. And let's see what happens. There's an Unknown coming down, okay. A uh, Feral Letter, going to discard the Unknown. Draw another card. And let's see, can my opponent find another DC or not? That is the big question. Uh, we will be able to end them down to three next turn, okay. Uh, if they have a Life Center, I'll actually be A-OK -okay with that. Psychic Energy going to the Pumpkin Boo, okay. And let's see what my point is. This is Sean. It's going to show up the hand attack and draw five new cards. Now, let's see. Right now, they are doing 110. Yeah, 110. If we knock out the Joltik, they do 140, uh, which is not a knockout. They need Battle Crest there, so knockout. Do it 110 damage. We'll send up the Tremnitz. Okay. And let's see what happens. On to our turn, we get a Psych Energy. So, Psych Energy is the active. Put down Tremnitz break. We will weakness policy this guy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to red card and then be a seeker for N. So that way we can maybe draw more cards with our N. Like, I really don't want to draw into the red card because we're already in here. I pointed down to three. So let's grab that N. Put it down. And I'm going to put opponent at three cards. All right. So let's see what happens. All right. So there's a Phantom. That's great. And we get a Crushing Hammer, which can be really, really good if we have. So we'll put that Phantom. We'll use Crushing Hammer. Come on. And has. We'll discard the DC off the active. And we'll go for a solid there, doing 30 to everybody. Take that, Night March. All right, so 30 everywhere. All right, ultra opponent's turn. Oh, we get a knockout. That's perfect. All right, so we get a Ultra Ball, which could get into the Trident, which could be really nice. Ultra opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, they don't have another DCE. There's an unknown coming down. We could see a Feral Letter. Uh, draw one more card. Okay. Next up, we can knock out two Combies as well, which is really nice. Okay. And a pass on to our turn. All right, so we're going to Ultra Ball. Discard Dimension Valley and Headringer. And with this, we'll grab a Tremnit. It looks like we are taking we're taking control now. We'll put down Tremnit. And we'll go for Sonophir. Doing 30 everywhere. We're gonna knock out both Combies and put pressure on the Joltic and the Pumpkin Boo. Alright, so knock out on that guy, going down to four. And knock out the other guy, going down to three. Okay. We get a Psych Energy. Next turn, we have the other Tremnit ready to go as well. I don't think my opponent can take a knockout right now. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, they can. And oh, and just a pass. Oh, to our turn. Well, we can do Solid Fear doing 30. Oh, wait, that's not, that's not a knockout. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, no, it's not. This Pumpkin Boo doesn't get knocked out. That was my mistake. All right, so we'll take one price guard. We go into, I got Super Rod. I was just really excited. I thought we won the game, but we did not win the game just yet. My opponent will draw a guard. And can they find, nope, just a Ram. 420 damage, and we will win this game. All right, so we'll go for the Sonic here, knocking out the active. 
Uh, we actually could have probably just uh, Lysander Energy Tree Slam for the knockout and win the game. I know that's a mistake on my part. I just didn't see the the, the fighting for all the Pokemon. But there we go. We made a comeback. We, it was a very, very sketchy start, but we did make it out alive. On to round number two. We go on the Saturday tournament. Win of one tournament tickets. So let's look at our opponent's deck. Uh, yeah, there's no Shea Bays. Uh, four Puzzle Time, which is good. Uh, two Lysander, one Team Flare Grunt, uh, two Sycamore, okay. Uh, no V, oh, no, two VS Secrets, okay. Uh, four DCs, four Slack Energies, okay. But hopefully during round number one of the Saturday tournament, I was really nervous at the start, but we did make it out alive, which is very great. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in round number two of the Saturday tournament. Hopefully we can get another win. Alright guys, just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.